Hey, what's up everyone? It's vlogging Kelsey here and thanks for coming back and watching another video. So I have this story that I've been wanting to tell you guys for about a month and a half. On April 29th, I was doing my psychology project and basically we had to find toys that were being marketed towards girls and toys that were being marketed towards boys. Anyways, uh, I was scrolling through Google like you do because, you know, I was like, I think I literally searched up like boy toys or something like that. And I found the greatest thing of all time. This is a indoor outdoor peekaboo caterpillar playset for kids. <laughs> this is the greatest thing of all time that I have ever seen. If I had seen one of these as a child, I would have wanted one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, basically, um, some very easy details about this thing. It costs about $185. It's big enough for like kids to crawl through and like sit on top of it. So yeah. Also, it weighs about 40 pounds. And yeah, once you get it, you might not get all of the pieces. So just be careful. <laughs> uh, I've read a lot of reviews. <laughs> so here's where this um, kind of went down the rabbit hole pretty quickly. So I took a picture of it and I sent it to my friend. He also asked me to call him Chad. I don't know why. Hi, Chad. <laughs> um, Chad is my best friend. So basically, I sent him a picture of this caterpillar playset, and I was like, I want one. And he was like, All right, like, you do you, like, whatever, have fun. About an hour later, I sent him a message, and I was like, Hey, the caterpillar will be arriving to your house in 21 business days. He was not happy. I'm. I can't even tell you how unhappy he was. Cause he was like, all right, why, why would you send this to my house? And I was like, cause why not? That, it's, it's fun, it's gonna be great. Like you're gonna have a great time. That night I get on the call with him, on the phone call with him and you know, we're talking and I was like, you know, telling him all of the details I just told you guys about this caterpillar, everything that I knew. I told him like, you know, some Amazon reviews I had read. I told him like the weight and how much it was costing me. And I told him I blew basically all of my money on this thing. He told me to cancel the order and get a refund for it. So the next day I call him that night and I was like, hey, I can't get a refund for it. Like, they won't let me cancel the order. I don't know what to do. And then he, he was like, all right. Because at this point, he was getting irritated and just like really frustrated that I sent this thing to his house. So he was like, all right, just um, like call Amazon, get them to cancel the order for you, see what they have to say, basically. And I was like, okay. Here's where my brain started scheming, right? Cause I was like, all right, I don't know how to keep this up. This, this was my quarantine entertainment basically. So I was like, I gotta keep this going one way or another. So at first I went through like an idea like, oh, okay. Um, like, first of all, I wasn't even expecting it to go this far. So I was like really shocked that I made him believe it that much that this thing was like gonna show up. And I was just like, oh my goodness, like, what, what am I supposed to do now? I was like completely at a loss, right? And by now, like a lot of my friends, like a few of my friends actually like knew about this. Uh, I think like probably two or three at this point, they knew that this thing was like, you know, occurring. Of course, I didn't actually buy this thing either. That's just like a disclaimer. Um, I'm not gonna blow $185 on a caterpillar. That would just be stupid. I mean, I was giving uh, Chad a countdown too for how many days left. So each day I would text him and be like, yeah, there's this many days left and, and then that thing is gonna show up at your house. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and I'm going to tell you guys essentially how this slowly went down the rabbit hole even quicker than it should have. <laughs> so basically what happened from here is 
Um, I was texting my friend, we're going to call him Gertrude. So Gertrude was texting me and I was telling him about this entire scheme and I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about just like saying like, hey, got lost in the mail, I don't know what happened to it, all this stuff. And basically, um, he was like, no, call me and I'll pretend to be Amazon customer support. I believe it was about 2 a.m. in the morning. I made this phone call <laughs> to Gertrude and Gertrude and I talked and he pretended to be Amazon customer support and essentially told me that um, I couldn't uh, get a refund um, and he did a great job. Thank you so much. I still owe you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm going to play a little bit of the video so you guys can kind of like see what exactly happened during this call because it is extremely funny. Uh, hello, welcome to Amazon Customer Service. How may I help you? Okay, so here I see that it was the indoor outdoor peekaboo caterpillar hunting play structure for kids. Yes, is that sir. Yes. Now, what were you looking for this order? Like, um, what was well, I was hoping I could cancel it. Okay. It says here that the order has already been placed for up to 24 hours. Well, unfortunately, due to you not being able to, I mean, due to you ordering it with, not within the past 24 hours, we can't cancel it. But what we can do is we can send the trailer address or we can give you a discount for your next order. Um, but unfortunately, uh, that it's going to be sent to that address. And um, you can return it, but unfortunately, I cannot get you a refund, um, Kelsey. So, um, I mean, I can try to compromise. I can get you like 50% off your next order, or um, is that, would that work for you? Well, you see, I um, kind of ordered this for a friend, and now he doesn't want it. Okay, I see. I apologize. I don't think I can get it canceled for you. I can talk to my manager about it um, and try to get into work, but unfortunately, I, I don't see a way that I could get your, your money back. Now, you said that this person doesn't want it anymore. We can replace it with a object that is, or a, 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 a product that is of the same price or uh, lower. Like that. I, I don't know like what. Lessons here, we have um, a butterfly that is for toddlers and all the kids. Um, and then we have like slides. I thought that was. But um, we have a ton of other options, but uh, toy drawn toys that you could order if that would. Liking. He's gonna kill me. I'm sorry, man. How about this? I'll look into it and I'll give you a call back and see what we can do. Okay. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Bye. you too. So, flash forward to the next day. It was about noon-ish, maybe a little bit later than noon. It might have been like one or two. Get my point. Um, I text uh, Chad and I was like, hey, I called Amazon customer support and they basically told me that, you know, I couldn't get a refund. I told him like, I recorded the entire thing so you could hear it and we could both be on the same page in case I missed any information telling you. So yeah. So I sent him the video and he listened to it and he was so ticked off and it was extremely funny. I think the, the biggest problem was he was unsure how to explain it to his parents whenever it did arrive and um i don't know i thought that was like really funny fast forward again like i said before i didn't actually buy this caterpillar so i had to come up with something we graduated and um so i was like oh okay i i have the perfect plan i'm going to send him a graduation card and i am going to fill it with a bunch of cutouts of the caterpillar which is exactly what i did <laughs> welcome to final part of operation caterpillar 
I'm going to print all of these off and that way I can um, put them in the letter. <laughs> it's finally printing. This is it, boys. So this is the final phase of Operation Caterpillar and I'm um, putting all of these into his card here. Oh, I, can't, I can't wait till this gets to him. <laughs> this scheme was great. I can't even I can't even tell you how amazing this entire thing was. The card finally got there. I'm really happy. Um that's why I'm making this video because you know, the whole, the whole plan is now, now revealed. <laughs> and believe me, he was not happy. <laughs> He's very irritated. Um, Chad, I'm not sorry for what I've done. <laughs> it was 100% worth it. It was the best entertainment I have gotten probably all year so far. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Gertrude, thanks so much. You know who you are. Thank you so much for, um, calling and, I mean, being the best Amazon support <laughs> I could have ever asked for because that was funny. Also, thank you to all of the people that actually knew about this scheme. Thanks for keeping it a secret for me, um, and not telling anybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And if you knew about this, comment down below. I want to see how many people I actually told because <laughs> I'm not even sure myself. I know I told like at least four or five, but I want to like just comment down below if you knew, if you knew about the scheme or in on the scheme, whenever he thought that this thing was going to show up, he was like, Whenever it does show up, like, you're gonna need to come pick this thing up. I don't want it. I don't want to see it. And he literally told me he wanted to burn it with a blowtorch. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Oh, what? That. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and comment and subscribe if you're new. Um, and remember, comment down below if you knew about this. Louis paying $352.99 for these caterpillars. <laughs> I am being dead serious. I would put that thing in my room and I would sleep in it if someone bought that for me. Hey Siri. What are annoying boys' names? <laughs> okay. I found this on the web for what are annoying boys' names. <laughs> <laughs>